I'm Josh with Art Music Emporium, serving artistic excellence. The purpose of this video is to talk about cork maintenance on your clarinet, saxophone, or piccolo, for example. Before we go any farther, I want to make sure you understand what cork is, where it's located, and what its purpose. I'm showing you a top piece of a clarinet. The tan bands that go around the clarinet are cork. They are located at the bottom and the top pieces of a clarinet. They're also located on the neck of a saxophone where you put the mouthpiece in. And on piccolos, they're located where you connect the head joint. Cork is porous, meaning it'll allow water to go through it, air to go through it. It'll soak up all this material like a sponge. But what's actually interesting about cork is that it'll keep its shape, meaning it'll create a seal when you're connecting two pieces of an instrument together. So if I would take a bottom half or a top half of a clarinet and a bottom half of a clarinet and I would connect it together, that's what cork does. Its purpose is to create a seal. Its purpose is to not allow any leaks in the joint and it's also to connect the instrument so that it's connected strongly. Now, it will allow air to go through your clarinet. But cork, unfortunately, gets tight. And if you notice when I put this clarinet together, it was really, really tight. We have to maintain it because if we don't, the cork is gonna tear off your instrument and then you're gonna have to seek repairman. So I'd like to show you how to properly grease your cork on your instrument. So. What I like to do is when I'm going to grease something, I like to take off the old grease. I always use this analogy. It's like taking the car to get new oil. You want to take the old out before you put the new in. So clean it off, remove any dirt, debris, whatever exists on your cork. Then we need cork grease. Most cork grease is found in tubes like this. I kid you not that this is not chapstick. A lot of people get this confused with chapstick and put it on their lips and it will not taste good like chapstick does. Once you take the cap off of your cork grease, you want to apply a little bit around the corks. When I say a little, I mean real little. I want you just to grease it, meaning greasing like a pan that you're greasing uh, for cookies or for a cake that you're baking. You don't want to put too much in so that your food's going to taste greasy. You want to put just enough in so it doesn't stick. And that's the important part. We want to make sure that we grease this cork so that it doesn't stick inside our clarinet. So what I suggest to students and learners is I make sure that when you're greasing these corks, you make sure that it's just lightly greased and it looks shiny. That's it. You shouldn't see any of the white grease around it or anything. Young learners, unfortunately, will cake cork grease on the, the corks. And unfortunately, that's not actually good for the corks because, as I was saying to you before earlier, it's porous and it'll suck all that grease in and corks will end up shrinking therefore not being able to act as a stop and connect your instrument together. So make sure that you grease your instrument at least a couple times a week. Some people do it every day before they play their instrument. But the biggest important thing that I want to let you know is to make sure you don't over grease your instrument and you make sure that you do grease the cork. I'm a musician, I'm a teacher, and I'm here to help you. If you need anything, please feel free to contact me at www.artmusicemporium.com.